nerdy aspects of life. I don't know how we got Teddy stuck in this motherfucker. He's here. Nobody does. Nobody he snuck does. in the back door. I'm sitting here giving wet willies to all y'all, man. That's what's up. And we got the homie book. What's good with you, bro? Yeah, 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 man. Just chilling, man. Um, I ain't really, I, I ain't really too mad at nobody today. So <laughs> we, 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 we can keep going off of that. And one half, the other half of the I Do It For Hip Hop podcast, they call him the Gray Pharaoh. What's good with you, bro? What it is, what it is, what it is, man. Yo, just happy to be here, man. Very, very, uh, I'm very excited. I'm very energetic. I got my giant smoke over here in a cup. I'm ready to go. This this your this your nerdy BAP debut, ain't it? Yeah, this is my BAP debut. Is it? Yeah. I get to strike. I had I had this on my um on my 2019 goals, man, to get on BAP. <laughs> Why are you drinking that fucking giant smoke? Because it's delicious. That shit- it's like 30 alcohols in that. Like, why are you drinking that? Bro, this shit is so good. You just got to put a little more Baileys than what the uh, tipsy bartender did. But this shit is yeah, banging, bro. It's like, it's like a breast milk sangria. Like, that's crazy, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm kissed by fire, bro. This shit is magical. Yeah, Fuck out of here. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we are here today to review Game of Thrones. It's only uh, one more episode left, ladies and gentlemen. What? This episode was a little controversial, if you don't uh, think so. Yes. Just happened to go on Twitter. Um, it's been a, yeah. it's been a fight since last Sunday. Um, I got a feeling we're gonna fight today, which is not something I'm looking forward to. Usually we have great conversations, but we have two very different opinions. About how the episode was and how the season has been so far, so we are all gonna fight. Anyway, um, Teddy, could you let us know about what episode uh, this is, the title, and what the in, over the recap of it? Indeed, this is season eight, episode five, and this episode is called "The Bells." It had an eighty-minute runtime, and it is the like you mentioned the la- the next to last episode. Of the whole series. Oh, the ring the bells. Ring the bells. How did everybody think? What did everybody think about this episode? What did everybody think about the, um, and I guess overall season so far, since we only got one left? Um, um, this this episode made me realize that, um, like, I maybe asked a lot more questions about why they didn't take the money from HBO to do more episodes. And it just was like, when I like, as I'm watching this episode, you know what I'm saying? And like, like I'll be, I watch like some of like the behind the scenes stuff. And I'm like, oh, they're just done. They're tired of doing this shit. They're tired of building these fucking exactly. large ass um, sets. They're tired of fucking shooting for 48 hours. They're just tired of shit. I mean, you know what, I, I realized when they didn't have John Pet Ghost and they said, oh, well, it was the CGI problems. Danny rides a fucking dragon every episode. <laughs> yeah. But you couldn't get John to pet a, a Siberian husky that ain't been shaved in a week. Yeah. Yeah. Now, listen, I, I have no defense for the dire wolf. Uh, none whatsoever. But allow me to be the first to uh, put my neck out there. I've loved this season, and I've loved I love this episode. Um, now, mind you, I, I just need to quickly explain what my expectations were for this season. We learned fairly quickly after we moved past Jorge's writing that the showrunners have nowhere near the nuance and wit that Jorge R. R. Martin has. True story. But, but uh, what what I've come into this season and before it, uh, thinking of is, you know, I'm trading that wit for incredible special effects, great acting, regardless of what the writing is. Great acting. Acting is always stellar. Oh my gosh. And, and a, uh, you know, and, and really I just want to know what happens because they've confirmed as of what, four or five years ago, this is what he said the end was. And they were filling in the blanks. So, you know, essentially, this is fan fiction. Basically, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, like I said, I'm real let down that, um, I, like you said, like Book said, not taking the money. It's like I had a, 
once I saw that they t- it took two episodes for the Night King to get there, I'm like, this is, I was like, six episodes ain't gonna be enough. Yeah. The moment they did those first two episodes before the Night King, I said six episodes. They're gonna, we are not gonna be. And then what the D, D, Dan and Dave, whatever the two dudes are, they said, ah, oh, when this last episode comes out, we uh we're avoiding the internet and we're just gonna be yeah, somewhere getting gonna drunk. Be I said, oh y'all, I said, I said, oh y'all ruin this, huh? I said, John, no, we about to be mad, man. Like, where's the HBO office at? Because I'm I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna show out. Because you know what, like the, I think the last show that caught it, like they're going to catch it, is Lost. I think. Uh uh-uh. uh, nope, so. nope, nope, nope. Y'all wanted to end like The Walking Dead, huh? That that what y'all want? Y'all want ten? Y'all oh, want... Well, The Walking Dead still going? Exactly. Right. And the walk, dude, dude. Have you been watching the dude? I'm a deadhead, bro. I'm a deadhead. But the Walking Dead with the new showrunner, phenomenal. But. Well, Listen, listen, it seems like it's gotten better, but yes, ooh, it was tough. It was tough for a couple years. For a couple tough, years. Right? right? Yeah. Like y'all want that to go through that, or do y'all want to get one more season, get it all done, come up with some type of resolution, regardless of if you feel like it's earned or not, you got something. Like we is we got we're getting a definitive end. And I'm okay. I've loved the season. I feel like it's uh not it, it's going as quick as it needs to go <clears throat> excuse me and i think a lot of um i know a lot of people have a problem with daenerys and Tyrion, uh, especially but this season has shown that Tyrion cares about his family more than anything and yeah. it, and also daenerys has been burning niggas since day one since the beginning oh. since Yo, the that's- fucking beginning like that's one thing that my fo- that uh stuck out to me it's like um I, I was, you know, because I, I go back and forth. I'll start watching from the beginning and everything like that. It's like when uh, Ned Stark said, "Whoever carries out this, whoever uh, sets the sentence, has to carry out the uh, right, the deed." Right. Mm-hmm. Then you don't never get her hands. So you, somebody else is always handling it. Somebody, whether it's a dragon burning for her or it's something, it's like then it'll never get her hands dirty. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess, but she got a dragon, like. Nah, man. Nah, man. Something about this. I think. I think it plays into the whole yo, the whole honor thing. It's like, where's the honor? Where's, oh yeah. Where's the, uh... That's that, that goes back to my whole theory that Ned Stark is a dummy and he trained, he raised dumbass kids. <laughs> <laughs> he was a dumb dude, but he was a dummy. He raised dumbass kids. He did. He did. He did. He raised no. dumbass kids that could not survive. He, he no. could not I give you that. I give you that. I can't even be mad. Yeah. <laughs> they, they wouldn't so, bro, they, they, like the only reason why John survived because he got lucky. John's been getting lucky a lot. But that's the um, thing about it. John didn't survive. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, if you want to get technical, survive. his ass died too. <laughs> he, he, he did die. John, he got lucky that, that little Sandra was around yeah. at that moment. Right. Uh, Aria, Aria was like the only one that had the mindset to survive. You know what that honor yeah. shit did? It got fucking Rob murked the fuck out along with yep. Caitlin. And the rest well, of Well, but see that wasn't Rob, see Rob, Rob fucked up. Rob, that wasn't on Yeah, ex- that was that was all Rob. Though. That was stupidity. But but that Stupid. that was that was him saying he was trying to be honorable. He was trying to do the right thing. Nope. Nah, you can't, he, you can't, do the right, the right thing would have just been you marrying the fray girl. I'm not even I'm not even gonna put it on Rob. That was on his mama, actually. Well uh, you know, but he is just like, nah, I'm trying to get an old girl, you know. I don't 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 uh whatever. So the phrase got back so I think the two of them messed that up, and and they deserve to be killed. I'm sorry to say that out loud, but um, but listen, man. Before I get off too much on a tangent, all I'm saying is, you got to think they had what, uh, six seasons essentially with with book material to go for, go off of, and then it was just a dude telling them like, hey, this is what I think I'm gonna do. In the next two books, which, for the record, he's got two books to go. And if anybody's seen Jorge, I don't know if he's going to make it one book, much less two. Or, so or like, he's already written the books and he's just waiting until he dies to put them out. Like, yeah, I, he's chilling. Yes. <laughs> I think they're done. And he's just not putting them out. Yeah, he's chilling. He's okay. like, look, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to milk all this shit for all the money I can get. The, the nigga got oh, four no, HBO. He I got oh, no. bro. He got four HBO series. In production, coming. yeah, I know, coming, yeah. In one, of them, like, pre- one right. of them is like recording right, right now. now, like as we speak. Like yeah, Game yeah. of Thrones, let ep- season eight, episode six happens. Like that following week, we could get a first episode of 
whatever something next. else. Space off Game yeah, of Thrones. I can't wait till we get the prequels. That's gonna be. Yeah. I, I can't wait for that shit. Because that means they gotta have the dragons and the dire wolves and all that shit. And, and and that's the reason why I think that they kind of not telling us everything because they are going to explain the Night King in the prequels. They're going to explain a bunch of shit like about the wall in the prequels. It's it's a bunch that they're going to have to they're going to have to go through. Are Benioff and Weiss doing that show? By the I way, I think they're producing. I, I don't, don't think so. I don't think they're show winners. I, I, I would hope I would hope not just because well, they're doing the Star Wars thing next. They doing the trilogy. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, good, they're good. doing the trilogy they, of Star that Wars. That show that show that they were about to do about Ray. Hey, dog. Good lord. <laughs> Good, I hey, mean, hey, gee. Hey, that would have been that would have been trash. Yeah. But you I mean, know what? Was... That explains so much about what we've seen in the show. So I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> they've uh, they've had some, some questionable moments. But yeah, all right, but to the episode. It's all right. So I, we had some quick shots. Um most of which it was just pretty much preparing. You know, but there were some character moments in between. We had one between Daenerys. Tyrion and Varys. They got my boy Varys. Varys had balls, man. Hey, hey, well, that, Varys well, that's that's like, he that's had, well, technically, he had he balls to be on Dragonstone and try and talk John into taking over, like on Dragonstone. Man. Hey, he that's had a, hey, he had his little birds out, ready, trying to poison her. Trying yeah, to yeah, poison yeah. Her. yeah. What you guys think about the whole poison? You think he was really trying to poison her? Hell yeah. I don't, I don't know. Just because I feel like Varys could have got it done if he really wanted to. If he really wanted to, yeah. But that's why, yeah, like, she, that's think, why she wasn't eating. That's what, I mean, yeah. but I think, but, I think that, but, that's, but that's his, but that's his only tactic, though. Like, you know, he got more tactics. Yeah, but he's but, on. I think it'd be different if he was in King's Landing. But being that they were on Dragonstone, that's pretty much all you got. Yeah, she got well, it. That's you don't got that many. It's it's probably not that many little kids running around Dragonstone. Yeah, pretty but much. Like, oh, you know, we'll we'll try we'll try these seventeen other kids with something different. He's probably only got like maybe three I or mean, four. And you got to think about it. She also just lost her best friend, or a right hand yeah. woman. You know, she yeah. also lost a dragon, and her nephew Boo isn't reciprocating the love. Like, she got a yeah. lot of shit going on <laughs> at one time. We gonna get that. John is to blame for everything that happened. He's so <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so John fucking just, stupid. It's like, bro, just put out. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> bro, how are you going to make him do that? That's his art, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here's a- <laughs> she, don't kick, if she said right before that, all I have is fear. And then she tries to smash, bro, you got to, you better just lay there and cry and take it. Like, you just, oh, you, my God, no. <laughs> what the hell? No. Here's no. the thing about that's it. not all wrong. It. This is how you know this show will just have you thinking crazy. Because at at different points of this show, I have rooted for the bloody murder of kids. And you're right, because in my mind, I was just like, you know what? I was going to sleep with his aunt to save people. Like, that, that, that is not a sentence that normal people should say. But it right sounds there. like that sounds like the ending of a Dave Chappelle skit. <laughs> John Cassie was not saying he got niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At that moment, he fucked up. <laughs> but but that yeah, so they, they they have a moment and being then, real. Yo, they have a moment, and then she gives him the meanest, calmest Dracarys. And that's when I knew oh, yo, that that's was when so I sad. knew. I was like, oh boy. Tyrion's dead. Tyrion's dead. He dead as fuck. Cause and I, soon- I think he knows it. That's why he's acting so reckless, right? Somebody yeah. tell me that's why. Cause it, like they have, de- like his character has devolved to the point oh, where I can't even defend it, man. It's, it's just it's like he might as well just be drooling simpleton at this point. He might as well be Hodor at this point. It's like what do you? Do- I mean, it's just bad. I mean, it's, 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 it's almost insulting. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, he's also paralyzed by fear. You know, like, he's seen... That's, that's what's killing him. Yeah, like, that's he's seen him. her, like, um, yoke niggas up since the very beginning. Like, he almost got yoked up in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had to earn her trust. And then to do all the dumb, simple shit that he's doing for his family, it's a bad look. Like, it's not, it's not going to end well for him. 
Or actually, I don't think it's going to end well for anybody, to tell you the truth. Yeah, that's the thing about it. Like, they all it's still get Game it. of Thrones, yo. It's still Game of Thrones. Arya is going to get killed by the mini-phase god. Nobody's going to be happy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they're doing with, with you know, we're going to say, let's stay on, we'll get there, right? We're going to get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I love, but with the whole Varys killing, I love how they, uh, like, that's how you use the Black Shading. You see nothing of the dragon. Oh, yeah. yeah. All of a dragon sudden, came in, you just, like, see teeth impressive. first, and then it just kind of easy. I'm like, that's how you do some cinematography right there. Yeah. That was beautifully yeah. shot, the way they did that. Um, they also have a moment between Daenerys and, um, what's homeboy's name? It's killing me. Black homie. Oh, Grey, uh, Grey Worm. I couldn't yeah. think for a minute. Grey Worm. Yeah. So they have a conversation, and Grey Worm basically throws Masande's belt in the fire like, I ain't got nothing left. You ain't got nothing left? Uh, he said, burn that shit. He kind of told her right then and there, burn that shit. We ain't got nothing left. Let's go kill everybody. At that point, everybody should have knew, like, hey, guys, yeah. they're not going to be playing fair. She's checked out. And then do we go to John? I think we go to John and Daenerys. That's John and Daenerys yeah. is the next scene. Yeah. yeah. So this dummy <laughs> should have just gave it a pike. She would have slept yes. nice. Uh, and like, and been like I feel, I feel no. loved. You know what? This is love. And I'm cool. No, you know what? We're going to wait for these bells to ring because she was mad because she ain't getting no dangling. She was pissed off. And boom. You know burn the whole no, thing. Well, how, however it was going to end when, he, when she saw him and she said, well, Fear it is. Oh, guys. Yeah. That, guys. Just, I go in front. That look, yo, her face acting alone. She's done, yeah, she's done good work, man. Like, yeah, yeah. she does amazing yeah. work. Yeah, Amelia, Clark, Amelia, hey, Clark, I, Clark, I, I Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. I love Amelia Clark, man. She like, um, yeah. great. She seemed like a great person. Yeah, like, but her face acting, the way she just those faces, it's like she don't got to say nothing. Bro, she does all her acting in front of a green screen. Like she's not even with anybody when she does most of the shit. You know, that's a good point. Because most, most of the time, she's talking to dragons, crazy. looking off. Yeah. Of nothing. yeah. <laughs> so they have that conversation. Um, it doesn't go well. They didn't have a gray, gray room conversation. Conversation, obviously, that doesn't go well. And then we get to the fight. Oh boy. And I mean, the Golden Company's out there styling and profiling. They didn't got out there. <laughs> Rick, Rick Flair out there, you know what I'm saying? Can I, can I just say, when I saw the Golden Company Army, I was looking at him like, this is it? I'm thinking we're going to see some old shiny golden armor looking right. like James' hand. I'm like, this looks like some broke niggas from the hood. They're just, they literally look like mercenaries <laughs> with yellow shirts on. And then, well, what you recall, somebody had a funny uh, Twitter meme that had a picture of a dude and with the question of most useless character in Game of Thrones history. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? <laughs> might be, might be. Yeah, he clearly talking about dude be. Strickland. Uh, yeah, what, is that? Yeah, yeah, is that the, 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 the leader, the leader, yeah. the, the captain or whatever in the Golden? Cup? Yeah, yeah, he just showed up. And well, was very, I was very surprised at how, how like scared he got really fast. I was, I was surprised they hyped up the Golden Company for since what season three? Yeah. Yeah. They've been hyping up the golden, this golden company, golden army from the Iron Man seasons, and they just got one smack. It was, it was like when that, when the uh, dead giant smacked Lady Mormont. It was just over. Right. I'm, like, that's it. Right. Right. I'm like, they just running. They just done. Like that's it. The toughest well, we know, mercenary we army. Know why they didn't, we know why they didn't bring the elephants now too. So them elephants would have been <laughs> what. <laughs> Them elephants, yo, them, yo, Joe would be like, "Oh, snack time, work." <laughs> yeah, it was. It would have been over real quick. Um, oh, yeah. And then, uh, Danny shows. Oh, well, well. Let's also talk about Euron being his evil self. I yeah, love, I love let's, that. Let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk about the ships and how they actually did it right this episode. Let's talk uh, about how Dragon Magic has superpowers. Kill him, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I love I love that they show like the question that all of us as viewers had, like, yo, I you know what? I take that back. I, I understood how they were able to kill the second dragon because it was a sneak attack, basically. But like, yo, dragons 
should be able to maneuver better to boy that. However, their strategy to not shoot together, what the hell are they doing? It's like they used that strategy on, on Viserion real quick. They were shooting like, yeah. five, like 20 arrows at, or uh, was it spears at a time at him. So, now, magically, all of a sudden, they can't reload within two seconds like they was last so, episode. So the showrunner said that they, this time they weren't prepared. For the dragon, which, I mean, the way it came out of nowhere, it did kind of, you know, I would imagine it would be a little more difficult to hit if you, you know, like, fly. Because she was flying at, I ain't never seen her fly that fucking fast. Like, I didn't know a dragon could do that, right? Yeah, she got a, her dragon got a speed boost. Right. Yeah. Or she started taking it serious. You know, and then she just decided, like, well, fuck it. I have a dragon. And she... Destroyed the entire village, the entire army, and everything in between. Yo, when you just hear, when you see like the golden company's face, like they want to turn around and look because all they hear is explosions in the background. This is like, right before the dragon busts through the wall with the flame. I'm, that was hilarious because you see all their faces like, yo, that's just getting louder, bro. But you <laughs> know what? We've <laughs> never, we've <laughs> never seen like, a dragon. You, I ain't gonna exactly. <laughs> so this really pisses me off about. She had two fucking dragons. She could have killed all the white walkers. All of them motherfuckers. All of them motherfuckers in like one fell swoop, dog. Like, oh, I'm so pissed. She could have ended it so far. Because remember, Jamie said it way back. She was like, he was like, yo, she has a Dothraki horde. All she has to do is let them go in King's Landing and we're done. Yeah. Wow. That's like when she only had like 8,000 Dothraki. And Jamie admitted that there's no way they can beat them if they come in, in, inside the city walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she just des- decides that she's gonna burn everything down. Meanwhile, John's on the ground. Meanwhile, John's on the ground, and uh, him and Grey Worm start to get to the action, and which man. means that Grey Worm starts to get to the action. Oh, and this is after the bells are ringing. Yeah, yeah. That's are, we, are we going before? Yeah. The, are we going before the bells? Or after the bells? That was Let's before. Remember, before. before the bells, he was getting busy. Yeah, before yeah. yeah, before they got into the city, because they they was just, they, they was like, you know, John, all the motherfuckers in the front, they just walking, and they they was just like, ha, ha. I was like, how the hell are they just this off of motherfuckers just walking up the street and shit like that. And then the bells ring, which Tyrion made a plea to Danny earlier in the episode, like, hey, you hear these bells ringing, please give them a chance. You know, they all surrender. So, but. But uh, Daenerys never actually said, "I right, cool, we're going to go with what you're saying. Nah, she she looked at Grey Worm died. and just gave him the nod, like, do what the fuck I said do. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, that's the look she gave him, like, go do what I said to do. That's, like, you know, or, like, that's the you-know-what-to-do look that she gave him. It was hints everywhere in this episode of where her mind state was. That's yeah. why I don't get why people are so shocked, you know. Um, and then we hear the bells ring, and it's a brief silence. We see Daenerys pull up, pull up. Um, and when she does, it looks like everybody is like, okay, peace has been had. Then she gets a look in her eye and she looks at that red keep and Cersei sitting there drinking that wine and she like, fuck them. Do you, th- do you think she can see Cersei from where she was or was this a matter of just looking at the castle looking itself? Just I think it yeah. is. Like she remembering everything about it, like having to get snuck out through like back corridors and everything like that when she was younger. Yeah, And like, that's what kind of made her really snap. That's my daddy's house. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's, that's it. When you, say, when you say it like that, that's different. Yeah. Like when you say it like, that's my dad. Like you say that, that, that does hit different. Like that's my daddy's yeah. house. And they, uh, they they built they built that whole shit, literally, literally. And did you see so, how somebody synced up uh, that moment with Nucky P. Buck? Oh, that <laughs> shit was so funny. <laughs> that shit was so funny. <laughs> I got to send that to me. I need to see that. It's genius. It's genius. It's that was it. Yeah. And she just continues to burn everything. Meanwhile, we didn't mention that Tyrion let Jamie dumbass out. Because so, uh, oh, he is his. She she knew she knew he was gonna do that. She did that on purpose. I think she did too. Probably, probably. Um. So Tyrion lets Jamie's dumbass out, talking about you can go live with Cersei, just go be happy, please. Like you, so fucking. 
Hey, hey, go so go somewhere at Essos. Like you knew she took over Essos first, right? Like she was the queen in like Essos before she came to Westeros. Right. She flew all the states out there. Like you ain't safe out there neither. Yeah. Like why would you think you're okay going to Essos? I don't know where they would be safe. Nowhere. There, there's air. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't just hey go to Essos. You'll be good there. We we already took that place over. She's already the queen there. Like come on, bro. Think. Would you think? Yeah, clearly he's not. So, um, Jamie meets up with Cersei next, right? Or am I missing? No, Arya. What, what happens with Arya? Arya and the Hound sneaking. They get into the within the uh, Red Keep uh, walls. Thank you. Yes. Um, and then they have that heartbreaking last conversation, which I knew was yeah. happening. You um, knew it was gonna come. Yeah, and it made you realize the Hound really did like. Look at her like a daughter. That um, was her surrogate father. The moment Ned Stark died, he was the one. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, he was always there at the right time, always there to protect her at the right time. You know, yeah. like let her grow up, you know, yeah. let her fight, you know, like, yeah, man. I, I really did appreciate that relationship because Down yeah. was a piece of shit in the very beginning. Who knew? Yeah, I, but I would I mean, like him. He got, he got right. Right. But he had he was a piece of shit. But he was he had always had something because like remember when he wanted he, like he said it in the last episode was what's called talking to Sansa. If you'd have came with me, you'd have been safe. Mm-hmm. So he always had a soft spot. I don't know if it's necessarily for girls in general, for the Stark girls, or if he just has a soft spot for for children. Well, I mean, they were. He, he, he was, mentioned something about I mean, like he in did, the early. He did, kill, he did kill the stable boy. So yeah, yeah never mind. Have a soft yeah, spot. So no soft spot for children. So it's just that. <laughs> right, it's just right, right, right. And, and he did kill that that one father and daughter. Well, he killed yeah, the father. He did. He yeah. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill yeah the left the motherfuckers to die. Yeah, so <laughs> his shit is. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I I I uh, reclaim my time. <laughs> <laughs> He's an asshole. All right. <laughs> so um. You know, they part ways, and the Hound, Hound's going to get busy. He know he gonna, he got a one-way ticket to go. It's hands 30. Do you hear me? Oh, yes, It sir. is time for the Clegane, the Clegane bar, Bowl. Excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, it didn't disappoint. Hey, dog. I, I, listen, I know some people out there were, were uh, critical of the episode. I get that, but Come on, man! You can't hate on the game, bro. Only yes, thing I that can. I would have, only thing that I would have wanted more, is when they were about to fight and Cersei was going down the stairs. Just trip her up a little bit. You don't hey. have to kill her. Hey, <laughs> you know she, 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 she got to talk like, she, like <laughs> don't let her sneak past like that. Right? Like, hell, shit, like is he gonna hit me? Is he gonna hit me? <laughs> like, to the yeah. like, he should like jump like, at her or something. Like, bitch, get out of right. here! This, that, like that was one of my. That was one of my favorite acting moments of the whole show. Like, like her body language when she was going down the fast the hound. That was great. Hey, so. it's like when a couple arguing next to you that you don't really know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, all right, let me you know, go ahead and get up out of here because one of these people yeah. get a little too loud. Right. <laughs> let me give it y'all later on. But did you notice how hard he slammed Quiburn's head hey, against the wall? He, did you see a hey, chunk of the back of his head come off? Hey, he, yeah, man. Throws him down to the ground. You see another chunk of Quiburn's head come off. I said, yeah, bro, man. that's some dope yeah, attention no. detail. Hey, he mushed yeah. him to death. <laughs> I've that never seen somebody mush it. to death. So, yeah, they have the, the, the club game ball, which, which is why the Hound was always afraid of fire. Yeah. Remember so, what he saw so in great. the fire. Yeah. Yeah. So Gray Pharaoh, tell me, tell me your your uh, your problems with the Clegane Bowl. Uh, big letdown, man. I want, I needed that. I needed the Clegane Bowl one to not be on some fucking stairs. Oh my god, you wanted need- it to be in a damn coliseum. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, hell? Wait, Are you not in the bowl? Bowl? <laughs> sin, sin one. When he stopped him from after the jousting match, we've been waiting for them to go at it. And then to not have a, like, the ending was very poetic. It was beautiful. Oh, they both die in a blazing fire. Nah. He should have definitively killed his brother, and then he could just drop dead from exhaustion. I don't care. He but, stabbed uh, him in the eye. He stabbed him in the eye, and he kept which was a, 
fit you to know, kill you know, him. She stabbed him in the eye, and the knife went through the back of his head. That's the same thing Arya said she was going to do to the Hound. She said, I'm going to put a knife through your eye, and it's going to come out the back of your skull. I'm so mad that you wanted them to come out in this corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you want. Like, chill. <laughs> but I, I want it all different for this whole ep- This whole season just is not rocking with me. But this cause Game Boy for me, it was, I, I wanted more. I wanted more. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Don't know. All right. Fair. All right. Fair. I'm, I, I'm not going to argue. You know, Fight and super from fucking uh, Resident Evil over here. It's like, bro, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. I'm happy we got the chance to see him, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, it was it was about what I expected seeing how the tone of the episode and the pace it was keeping. You know, because that was one of the longer battles. Um, then we yeah. go back to the streets and we see Arya running for her life because they they humanized her real quick this episode. They did. They did. She was no longer ninja assassin. She was scared little girl. But she still made it out. Impossible white woman. Possible white woman syndrome. <laughs> and it's fine. All the white whores. What? <laughs> she made it out. Yeah. And that was a call. That was another call back to uh that was a call back to a couple things. Uh Danny's horse was white that Cal Drogo gave her. The little girl with the mom that she tried to save was carrying a white horse hmm. while okay. they were running. See, I notice a lot. I notice a lot. I be watching my game. I be watching my Thrones family. <laughs> Pays attention to my Thrones. So that that's that's so that was that was very symbolic in terms of okay, this is the white horse. The little girl had the white horse. If you focus when after uh the mom, the little girl got burned by the dragon, would she let that little girl burn? Because if you notice, she kind of pushed that little girl to her mom so she could take cover. Yeah, she could have pulled that little girl with her. Yeah. But she's like, Fuck you, Daddy. I mean, she 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 I, wasn't trying to come. She she wasn't trying to come. So I don't care. Your Arya should have been. She deadly ninja assassin warrior. She could have just dragged that girl by her ponytail. Like, come on, yo, you're not burning. Your mom said for me to take you. I'm taking you. I, but uh, you know, if you notice the the, uh, the burned ashes of the little girl, the thing that was sticking up, that was the burned horse. Oh shit. Yeah, they, huh. yeah, you, yeah. I gotta go back and watch. I missed all okay. that. Yeah, well, I paid attention to that. my I phone, me. And then that's when the the white horse that's all bloodied and everything comes out, and that's the that's the symbolism for Arya. Like, yo, go finish this. Sh-. You know what I mean? You got to go finish this shit. Yo, and then we get back to the street, and John and Grey Worm have a little misunderstanding because Grey Worm. Decides that yeah, let's go kill everybody. Don't give a fuck. Yo, when he that, when he threw that spear at point blank range with that much force, I wasn't happy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then he looked back at John like, "Oh, you know I'm telling, right?" Like, yeah. He had the tab. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, you're not gonna do this? I said we're doing this. John, tell your men to come and do this too. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a tough moment for me just because. Like, I expected it, but it was still, like, kind of hard to watch a little bit, which is what what I think they wanted to happen, right? They wanted that shock moment of, oh, no, everything's going wrong. It's not going like you expected. The heroes aren't the heroes. What are we doing? You know? Yeah. And and in reality, it's just like any kind of – I think about anime and stuff like that or any kind of, like, nerdy story, sci-fi especially, where – the person that you trust turns out to be the villain. Comic books. It's always Ooh. like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I, you know, it's just what I'm used to, I guess, in a way. Like, I never expect everybody to be 100% good or 100% bad um, in any story. So, um, but yeah, man, I I really thought that that was a, a really interesting turn um, for that um, that character. What did, what did everybody else think? Like I said, I wasn't happy, man. I was like really, I was really disappointed that uh, that that you know he did that. I understand why he did it because he felt like, hey, it's on. I got nothing to lose. I'm you know I'm about to kill me some motherfuckers. Once once she started burning everything, um, but I understand why he did it. I was just like, damn. Like I was like I got up from my seat. I was like, damn, great worm. You know what I'm saying? Like I was I was really not happy about that, but you know. Yeah, yeah, but you know you can also see his rage. You know, he just lost his girl. Yeah, I can yeah. see it coming. I knew once he threw her uh, her joint into the fire with with Danny, I said, okay, this is like all bets are off. There is no fair one. There is no fair winning here. Yeah, 
So I could, I knew something like that was going to happen. The moment Danny took off on that dragon again and started burning everything, that was like the that was like the all clear. Do what you want. Meanwhile, yeah. she's not just burning everything. She's going up and down. <laughs> yeah, she's like going up and down each road, like each street, yeah. like zoop, zoop, zoop. So oh, like, good. Like, oh damn, I forgot South Street. Hold on, let me go back. Let me double back to South Street. Let me get that and go this way. Bruh, she just twist and turned her way all the way to the castle. I was like, damn, this is savage. Meanwhile, Cersei then took off. Hell. <laughs> and it's, it took her a minute, too. She was swearing. Oh, the scorpions are going to protect me. Oh, this is going to keep. We're good. We're good. It's like, no. Kyburn's like, nah, we not good. But, like, let's go. <laughs> how many of y'all, when Kyburn showed up behind Cersei and it was in the Red Keep, how many of y'all thought that was Arya? I, I wish did. it was Arya. So I, I, I did. I thought it was Arya I did. so bad. <laughs> I knew. I just knew Arya was going to take off I that knew, face. I was like, "That's got to be Arya, bro." <laughs> I thought it was going to be Arya. She was going to kill Cersei. The that's mountain true. was then going to kill Arya, dressed as Quaburn, and that's what was going to kick off the game bowl. Shit! Oh, wow! Wow! See, that's all how right. that's how it all played off in my head. See, I, I should be a writer for this shit. Like, See, I know that would have mm. been way better. Mm. <laughs> you funny as hell. There's all the motherfuckers sitting in the crowd. Tell the ref you can fucking uh, do the game better. I can do your job. I could. <laughs> I can. Bro, I'm writing four books right now. I'm, I'm going to send them to y'all. I'm going to let y'all read these joints. I, would, I swear, fire. Though, if, I, would, I would cuss you out every game if I was a ref. <laughs> <laughs> you was a dad sitting in the stands, I would be looking for your ass. Because I hate motherfuckers like that. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I can do it I've been, better. I mean, I've, I have been told stop sideline coaching quite a few times. Stop sideline ref. I, I, I know you have. I know you have. <laughs> I've, 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 I've like temporarily stopped games. You'd be like, yo, ref, come on, look at my phone. See, look at this here. Hey, look listen. at this. Hey, I'll come tee on. your ass up so quick. <laughs> Get your quick, ass man. up out of here. Quick. <laughs> I think he got eight texts. What team you with? Yeah. What team you with? Yeah. T. Get his ass up out of here. <laughs> get his ass out of here. I don't care if he paid to get in. Get out of here. <laughs> my wife was a, a ref in college uh, for years. And, bro, she used to team motherfuckers up. So they used to be so salty. So <laughs> salty. And I just have to stand up. Got a problem, cuz? We got some? We got some? We good? <laughs> I can see Aaron, man. That that that's just, that just doesn't seem comfortable. I'm sorry. Aaron just walking up on somebody. Just I am not intimidating in the least bit. If you ever saw me, I'm sure everybody on this call is taller than me. I'm not. I'm, oh, damn. yeah. I'm oh. Not. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I've never seen you standing up. So yeah, no, I'm not that intimidating. I just, oh, I just, I just look, I just, I just look big in pictures. Um, but yeah, man. Um, overall, let's get to the end of this episode. Uh, what, what everybody think, man? What is everybody's feelings about where Game of Thrones is one episode before the finale? Now, mind you, the finale is going to be the longest episode, and they are going to have an episode after, which is like a behind the scenes kind of special feature. But all, yeah. all purposes, next episode is it. We are done. It's eight years, done. Actually, ten, because we had that ten two years. years. Yeah, yeah, we had that two-year break. So, what's everybody feeling, man? Uh, so, I started watching this show literally the day it premiered, episode mm-hmm. one, season one. Right? And stuck with it. And So, I have come to terms with the fact that it's ending, because I think it's about time. It feels about right. And, uh, you know, I I just don't know what's going to fill the void for now. But Westworld, 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 Westworld. I gotta, you know, yeah, what's, I gotta, you know what's I gotta, fucked I up? One, to school and finish my doctorate before I can really understand that show. But one, uh, one of my boys said that he was like, yo, they rushed Game of Thrones to finish it so they could put all their money in the Westworld. I mean. I wouldn't say that, but I'm sure Westworld is about to get a hell of a budget because of what oh, happened. Hell yeah. Because of what happened at the end of season two, they yeah. are about to get a major budget. So I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt if it's like eight, four or five million per episode, like yeah. something crazy like that. So, um, yeah. but I, I'm feeling I'm feeling good about it, man. Like I said, I'm with you, Teddy. I I literally followed it from. Like the premiere date, like I followed it up until the premiere, watched the premiere, and have been with these people. You know, think about it. Ten years ago, I'm twenty six. 
Yeah. You know what I'm I had just gotten married. You know, like I didn't have no babies. You know what I'm saying? These kids was kids. Go look go look in an old picture from when they first came on the air. They look Go look at go look at young Jon Snow. Go Ugh. look at baby Arya. Like these are grown people. We've watched we've had the pleasure to watch them grow in the characters. Um and you know, as actors, you know, we got to see cuz those first couple seasons weren't the best acting. Um uh, but they they got right. way better over time. You know, so like I said, I'm just really excited to see what they do. Brand clearly has something left to do. We don't know what. Um uh, they're not yeah. going to leave they they can't leave that thread hanging. They can they have to go back to Winterfell in some way or fashion. You know, so you know, we'll see what that is. Um, but what about y'all? What, what about the I do for hip hop crew? What about you? Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Gotta say the whole thing. Yeah. I do it for hip hop podcast. Gotta say the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Gotta say the whole thing. Book, man, you wanna go ahead, man, before I, before I trash this thing, you wanna, you wanna go ahead? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, did Book's he? on mute. Book's on mute right now, so hopefully he'll recognize uh, that he's on no, mute. No, I think he did. I did, I did. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching like his microphone is cut off. <laughs> he's steady talk. talking. <laughs> anyway, um, I I got into I got into this maybe like three years ago, season five. Okay. I f- I started I started watching it, binged it, um, got up got up to date, and I've been literally watching everything I get my hands on with the show. Um, this show like I I've 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 basically resigned all of the shit that I was expecting for last season and well this season because of last season. I knew that they were gonna rush it. I knew there was gonna be a lot of shit. I knew there was gonna be a lot of stuff that they just touched on and just kept it moving. Um and the only thing I'm not happy about is this last episode. That's the only thing I'm really just not happy about. I didn't expect Daenerys to burn everybody. <laughs> that was the really thing I was like, damn, I didn't know I mean I knew she was I knew that she was going to use a dragon for King's Landing. I thought she, I thought Dro- uh, Drogon was going to die. When he didn't die, I thought she was going to go out to Cersei. And when she started burning everybody, I was like, shit. <laughs> I was like, damn, she like, she really don't give a fuck. Um, and that was like my the, the biggest, um, I guess, disappointment. Like the lazy writing that people have been talking about. Yeah, that's there. You know, how they didn't see Yeron's fleet and shit like that. Right. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, all, all 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 that shit was like, you know, it was it was just cool for me. It was like, okay, cool. They that's what that's how they killed the dragon because you know they didn't see the fleet. Cool. Um, but yeah, I I think that the the season so far is really good. Um, I don't think that is is terrible. I just I, I think that I just, I think that you know you got to be really nerdy. Like, like, like a lot of a lot of a lot of the nerdy you know original folks. They just they just they just passed us by, bro. And they 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 looking for shock value and they trying to get everybody else involved now, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, that's that's how that's how I feel. Mm-hmm. I think they this season is definitely a lot of fan service. Because there's still a lot of things that they can touch on. There's still a lot of different uh character arcs that they can still build on, finish off, you know, all all sorts of things, and they just abandoned it for theatrics give them dragons give them white walkers give them fire give them uh give night them king that won't make us mad. yeah th- and and then that was it me i got into game of thrones because i like the i love the puzzle I, one of my favorite books is 48 laws of power that's what game of thrones is based off of you know what i mean like it's like that's all. 48 laws of power is all throughout game of thrones that's one of my favorite books i read it on the like almost on the reg, I'll read one of the laws. And to not get that this season where there's still so many storylines that could play out and how they just end certain storylines, uh, or just cut them off, com- cut them out completely. Like, okay, you know what? We don't I don't want to fulfill this storyline, so just kill them. I don't want to do nothing with this storyline, just kill them. Like there was like I got pissed off like way back when um even though it was beautiful, it was an amazing scene when when uh Cersei Blows up the Septon. The Septon, Scepter, Septon. Yeah, the Sept. All those storylines just came to a crashing halt. So much they could have did with that. And they just, okay, let's just kill them all. 
And so I feel like that was, I feel like it was a waste where they could have developed so much more where they I, I feel like they got to a certain point and then it was just like it's just now a race to the finish. It, you said you've been when did you start watching? You started watching at the very beginning too? Not the very I think like season two or three. Okay. Because I, I so, so from what I've noticed, and I'm just curious if anybody else has noticed this, like the people that started like like four or five seasons in aren't are the ones having more of an issue with the way this is going than I agree. people that have been since the very beginning. Because we've been, you know, a lot of people, and I won't, I'll speak for myself, I, we've been walk, watching um, since the very beginning. So we're kind of tired too. You know, like we're kind of at the end as well um, in a lot of cases. And we're ready to see how this finally plays out. Whereas a lot of people, even if you're only like four or five seasons in, you feel like, man, this could go for another 10 seasons. No. See, I don't even I don't even look at it like that. I feel like it's 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 ready to end. I just sternly believe that six seat, six episodes, even if you're giving us hour and a half episodes, wasn't enough. We should have eight episodes would have like I said, the moment they did two episodes to start this season before the white before the Night King came, I knew it was going I knew it wasn't gonna go well. Cause now it's like, damn, y'all got four episodes to wrap up everything. Only thing Too I was fast. waiting on um Waiting on Grey Worm to do uh, right before you know they started killing women and babies is uh, say Avengers Assemble. I mean, That's listen. right. Oh, word! That would have been it. <laughs> Avengers <laughs> Assemble. It, I, <laughs> three weeks into it, I finally saw Endgame. It was great. All right, all right, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh, one one thing that we one thing I don't think we touched on was uh, people were really mad at the way Cersei died. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Are, are, are you, do, do you guys care about that? I yes, hate I absolutely. I do. I do. Because I'm petty. Because <laughs> I I wanted her to have one of the worst deaths that we've ever seen in that show. Mm. Don't know what I mean. Anything would have been better than what they did. But for me, for me, that was the last part of Arya's arc. Mm-hmm. That's the last name on her list. That's the only thing left for Arya to do. She and got a new one now. Give it to Arya. She got a new name now. So. Nah, no, no, no. Cersei. Cersei's been on her list since season since what? Season one. Yep. Uh-huh. You you should have if there was no other argument. Like you gave Arya Jon Snow's kill in the Night King, and then you don't finish you don't finish her arc. By allowing her to kill the one, there's only literally one person left on that list. She was right there, unprotected. I mean, like, you, and you take that away from the people who've been vested in this since, since Jump. Nah, you give that to. That's just like when uh, they. That's just like when the Walking Dead showrunners were talking about they might not have Negan kill Glenn, and Glenn had to say, "No, that's my death. <laughs> I, you're giving me that death." He had to like argue. You have to certain things. You just gotta fulfill. You gotta do that. But that that's not what was promised. Like that, you know. Like just because that's a part of the list, a, a bunch of those things didn't like those fan theories and stuff like that. A bunch of that didn't come into this show. But, like, but that's but, but her but, list was her whole motivation throughout eight seasons. Yeah, Which, and she. I mean, she, she got, started the episode off by saying, "Yo, I'm coming to kill the queen." And Let she, me in. And the prophecy was she would close green eyes. Daenerys, Daenerys has, has green, green eyes. eyes. So the prophecy also Definitely. said she would close blue eyes. We all thought it was going to be somebody. No, it was Night King. So Night like, King. I get that. Like, I, get I mean, we, we just don't know. Like, I, I get a lot of people are, and I'm not speaking to you specifically. I'm saying, like, a lot of people throw out a lot of these theories that they've been holding on to for years. And like, that ain't the show, right? Like yeah. the show is the show. You got to enjoy what they're putting out there, and not what everybody else is talking about. You know, like we can only go by what the show is showing us. Like the Zora yeah. High shit, yeah, that's in the books. But guess what? We ain't heard it mentioned but like one time on the show. Like, and it probably is not gonna happen. You know, like it's just shit like that. You know, like we just gotta. A lot of cases, 
<laughs> Who's that? Which one? Teddy. Teddy, unlock the Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, I'm ready. I'm ready. Petty. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Petty. Pe- oh, can um, what should we call it, man? I'll just, I just, just happened to turn on my Facebook, and the Simpsons predicted this uh, would happen back in 2017. Really? The, Sim- the Simpsons is starting to scare me, bro. Hey, yo. Uh, hey, they- <laughs> like, this shit is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> this shit is scary. It's like the Simpsons. They did an episode about the Game of Thrones, and they had uh, Drogon burning an entire city to the ground. Like, or they had a dragon burning the entire city to the ground. Simpsons is getting kind of scary. Yes. This is weird. Simpsons been, <laughs> Simpsons been scary, if you must be honest. It's the yeah, only, I mean, real, it's the yeah, only show that's been. ever been on for as long as it's been on. Yeah. Like, uh, it's never going Sim- away. Like, Simpsons is, I think, as old as me. And I'm 33, and I think Simpsons has been on, like, just as long as I've been alive. Yeah, it's been on since. That's I, weird. Yeah, I'm 36, and it's been on as long as I've been alive. Like, I remember the Tracy Ullman show. Yeah, man. That's where they got to start, right? Yeah. So, yeah, um, but yeah let's, let's get up on that out of here. You know, one more episode to go. Thank you, Mr. Man. Mr. Great Pharaoh. One half of the I Do Fair po- podcast. Got to say the whole name. Yeah, can go. I just say, man, shout out to you, Aaron, man. You are the pod father. I know you uh, hate when I say don't, that. Don't do this you shit. Are the Nah. If it wasn't for you, man, we wouldn't be doing our podcast, yeah, man. Yeah. You put out the call, man, and you just put you put the battery in our back, man. And yo, I just I I I just want to let you know I appreciate you. Like he who shall not be named said before, people rarely get the flowers while they can still smell them. There you go. I just want to <laughs> shout out to you, man. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it, man. I appreciate Real it. Talk, man. Black Kanye didn't die for you to be helpful, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you do what I'm talking about? Yes, hey, yes, say, yes. Say. I mean, there's only one he who shall not be named in the black That's community it. right now. <laughs> we don't have a lot of them. <laughs> oh. So, oh. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. But, yeah, man, let's get up out of here, man. We'll be back next week. With maybe another guest, we will see. I'm working on that as well for the series finale. We're gonna have the whole crew. It's gonna be wild. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna get it done, man. So expect. Can I, can I come back for that one? We'll talk later. We'll talk later. Okay. Cool. Uh, yes. <laughs> Just put him on spot on the air, like. <laughs> come through. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. doubt. No doubt. Um. But yeah, man. Let's let's get up out of here. Thank you again. Black Ashness Podcast at Gmail dot com. Leave us the five star review. We guarantee to read it on the show. BAP is coming back in a short, short while. New and uh, new and improved. And uh, we thank y'all for listening. Until next time, y'all. Peace. 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 Peace.